David, yes, go sir. ahead with your questions. Okay, for Lawrence, for those of you who don't know, how would you describe your rendition of Remy Boudreaux? Wow. It's so weird when you play a character that's been played by somebody else because you're not sure how much of what they did you're supposed to take. And um, I know Gavin and uh, I believe Corey, they played it before me, but what they had to do was very different than what I had to do. So it was it was a little challenging at first because I came on to kind of be this guy who goes up against Jonathan and Tammy, but she wasn't really interested, so not really. But it wasn't really until... Tammy died that I think my version of Remy started to take a little more shape and then especially later down the line when Remy's baby died that's when like I really uh, the character was this this version of Remy is definitely mine you know yeah. I, it, it took those character changing things to happen to him before I can actually like grab a hold because I didn't want to copy what they did but I couldn't ignore that there was a Remy here before I came of on board course. you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I would say my rendition of Remy was probably uh at one point jaded and probably angry and got very playful and juvenile. <laughs> 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 and um and me, and me and Carla like we played comedy pretty much <laughs> to the end which we love. Right. Which we love to do. Yeah. Did so you have another question? Think- okay. Go ahead. Yes. Sorry. So, who do you think? Um, who do you think Remy's true love was? Was it Christina? Um. Yeah, I would say Remy. I mean, it's weird because I mean, if there is a true love, but I think he changed so much, and I think at one point he loved Tammy, but it wasn't reciprocated. I mean, he did love Ava. Like Ava was the one. But there was too many things that happened that that just made it not be. And I think with Christina, finally someone he loved just as much, but for whatever reason, the stars aligned for this pairing. Where the other ones, I you know, I I, I would say he did love Ava and Tammy just as much, but for 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 Christina, it was like that was meant to be, and so it happened. You know. That's that's true. Um, my other question is. Knowing that the end was coming for Guiding Light, did how do you feel on how your story with Christina ended? I thought it was great. Honestly, like there's so many amazing actors in such a a well pool of rich characters. I was just happy to be a part of the end. <laughs> yeah. You know, that that the writers and the producers saw, you know, I was only on the show for, at that point, like three and a half years, and Carla even less, but in their mind, Remy and Christina were just as part of this story as, like, Josh and Reva. I was like, because I'm true. like, you, you don't really need to have us here, but for whatever reason, we're we're doing something you like. So I was just happy to be a part of it and, and share in, you know, it was history. It was sad, but it made history. You know, the longest-running TV show ends, and I got to be a part of it. So it was awesome as far as them having a baby, and, well, years later you see them with the baby, and not nah, one year later you see them with the baby, and them being married and not married and married. I loved all that stuff. I loved it. It was a great ending. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun and, and hopeful, you know. You want to believe these people to a degree, are are living okay right now, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. It's true. It was a great show. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Hopefully, you know, and with this new stuff, and I, w- I would love to see it come back. And I know the I know there's a lot of people, including people in, on camera and behind the scenes, that would love for it to come back. So we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, it, it, a cancellation doesn't just affect the actors. I mean, it affects everybody behind the scenes as well. Everybody oh, loses yeah. their jobs, and some of them have been there from, you know, almost the beginning, and my gosh, that affects yeah. their families, and I, I just, my heart breaks for everybody. Absolutely. We were, we. I mean, and we kind of, we kind of like drew the lucky end of the stick because we were canceled in April, and our last episode was in August, so we still mm-hmm. had time. And I know some of the other shows, they didn't have as much t- 
time to get their lives situated, you know. We had we had a little bit to do do as much adjusting as we possibly could, you know. Right, right. I know. It's it's not easy. I was fighting from the beginning once all my mm-hmm. children and one life to live were canceled. So oh, man. you can imagine how I feel right now being able to watch them on a daily basis, even if it's online. And I think they've done a phenomenal job with it oh, yeah. as well. You know, uh, it's, it, it's faster paced than TV, um, you know, when they were on TV, but it's okay. It's it's not a problem. Not yeah. all the core characters are back, but enough of them are back to make it worth watching. And that's the thing is like for the for any fans of All My Children and One Life to Live, if you're mad that the show's a little different or if you're mad that your oh, your favorite characters gosh. aren't there, it's like keep watching. Because oh, I you know. watching keeps the show on. And therefore mm-hmm. who knows, maybe camera will come. You know, like but Exactly. But, the longer the show is on, the better chance it you know it draws the actors back, and you know, so exactly. don't give up. <laughs> That's what I've been saying because That's every now and again I'll see a tweet. I mean, re- believe me, most of the tweets have been all positive, but once and again you'll get some tweet that says, "Well, I hate this. So and so is not back, and blah blah blah." This storyline, and why are you whining? My gosh, this didn't happen for other soaps. It, you know, this yeah. is this is epic. You know, just watch yes. it. The mo- the majority of the people are there. Just watch it. You can't watch a soap for one character or one mm-hmm. couple you can't. or one storyline. You've got to love the whole show, or otherwise, why watch it? Yeah, and we have shows like those that's been on for so long. Now they're asking, invest in us. You've trusted mm-hmm. us before. Invest in us. We are doing something new. Just like, you know, be along for the ride. You know. I'm yeah. so there. <laughs> <laughs> now I was surfing the YouTube channel and came across a web series with you and Carla <laughs> called oh, Wedlocked. Boy. Yeah. And I fell in love with it. It is so so funny. And my very first question about that is, what color are your boxers today? <laughs> <laughs> they're not pink. <laughs> I think they're gray. They're not pink, that's for sure. <laughs> my wife bought those. Before Did she? <laughs> yeah, she went out shopping and she chose those. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, I boy. love that scene. I love that scene. And, of course, I love the scene in Surprise as well with <laughs> Carla's standing there. Yeah. She's such a sport. <laughs> she's such oh a team gosh. player. <laughs> it was so funny. So how did that series come about? And please tell me there's going to be more. Well, um, it came about because Guiding Light was ending. And me and me and Carla were having so much fun. Like, they gave us, they gave us so much free range on Guiding Light to just play and kind of, kind of do what we want to do. And they wrote for it and, they let us be that romantic comedy, which was so refreshing because, you know, mm-hmm. so many, so, you know, you had Dinah and Reva and, and Olivia and Josh and Alan and you had all these heavy storylines and awesome actors doing them. And for us, it was like, well, doing lighthearted kind of comedic stuff set us apart. So it gave us our own kind of area to play in. And mm-hmm. um, when God and Light was ending, Carla's mom was like, "You two should do a spin-off." And I was like, "Hmm." Yeah. <laughs> you know? And web series were very new back then and Crystal mm-hmm. was already, you know, starting Venice and uh I said we should do a web series and you know, we 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 created it and and we did it. We like we had so many um like a lot of the the crew on Guiding Light, outside of the veterans, there were like a lot of younger kids who were out of school who would help out on location. So they all came out and shot it with us. And um, you know, Zach Conroy's in it, and Ivana Wright's in it, and uh, we just we had fun. And will there be more? You'll have to wait and see. Oh, God. <laughs> you'll have to Don't wait and see. Please, I just <laughs> loved it. Oh my gosh, there's so many great web series and. And Crystal is the queen of web series as far oh, yeah. as I'm concerned, you know. 
Um, and there's there's quite a few of them that I watch, and I'm so happy that I found this one when I was doing some <laughs> background research because it was just too funny. And I am so into comedies. That's my first go-to, you know, especially if you're having a rotten day or oh, yeah. you just feel like laughing. You know, you go to a comedy, and, and what better way to do it and than either a web series or a television program? Absolutely. And marriage is funny. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. like yeah. two people coming together who think they know each other. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Like just figuring out where you put the bread, the fridge or the cabinet is funny stuff to watch like two people have to compromise on the smallest things. And that that's what we wanted the show to really be about is is not these big things that happen, but just something as small as what are we watching on T V today? Could be right. a big thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It, it was funny too when she was uh, when you were switching the TV programs and finally ended up with saying, her saying you know to watch basketball and you're like wow you don't know anything about it and she's like well this person did this 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 you know mm-hmm. some basketball player and I just cracked up <clears throat> <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to know is are you using a glass when you pour juice these days <laughs> not if I can help it. <laughs> Why use a glass and you can just <laughs> if you come over my place just bring your own juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And uh, and the one final part that really cracked me up too is the one where she's talking to the therapist and it's just showing her and the therapist talking about you um with the baby talk and all that uh-huh. stuff. And yeah. then it widens out, and it shows you're sitting there in the middle, going, the whole, "I heard, I'm here, uh, I'm right in the middle." <laughs> so funny. We had, I mean, it was just a whole lot of fun, and it was something small, and it was before a lot of the technology was even made that a lot of people are using today. It was back in like, you know, it was pretty close when Guy Light ended, so. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Well, I'm going to tell other people to watch it because oh, I do. think they need to see it, and that'll get your booty moving and get us <laughs> some more scenes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I also watched the trailer for The Forgiven, and mm-hmm. oh, my God, I can't even tell you. That scene with the little girl and the gun going off, I jumped. Yeah. I thought, oh, no, he didn't. He couldn't have. <laughs> and I was just, like, sitting there with my mouth open. And that little girl, I guess her name is Taylor. I think oh, I yeah. have the right credits. Okay. Taylor McIntyre. She's such a great actress for being so young. She's amazing. She's in, with kids, you're not sure what you're going to get. You're not, you don't know if they're going to be over the top or mm-hmm. kind of subtle like she was. And she came in and... You know, on paper, her lines were okay, but when she started saying them, it was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. for being so good. She um, was. She was really good. When are we going to yeah. see that? Well, um, the feature is being written right now. Okay. Uh, my company, okay. we uh, we made the web series. We produced the web series. We um, produced that. We had some other things in the works, too. And, you know, we were we were getting our feet wet with a lot of stuff. And that was one of the projects we were getting our feet with. So, uh, yeah, the the feature film is being written right now as I speak. Thank you. I can't wait to see the rest of that. Now, your your production company, I also mm-hmm. came across that. I didn't realize that you had one. And, um, oh, I'm looking for the name. It's St. Victor Productions, correct? Yeah, St. Victor Productions. I figure if I put my name on it, there's nothing I can put out there and try to hide from. I bet I have to own everything I put out, you know. So it forces me to be a responsible creator. Well, why did you feel the need to have your own production company? Well, or is it just I, something you always wanted to do in the back? Well, something it was something I wanted to do, but I always thought it was something that would happen much, much, much later. And I sat down with a guy who's like, "Why later?" do it now and then when guiding light switched formats and started shooting handheld and on locations and all that stuff the producers were all figuring it out as the actors were so i got to really watch and sit with the producers and see 
how you build a show. It's kind of hard to see it when you come on to a show like Bold and the Beautiful or Guiding Light at that time when 